Our final story this morning, snapping pictures for a good cause. That's what one group in Kenosha is doing with their inaugural calendar that features a historical landmark in need of a little help. Here's Stephanie Rodriguez. As the waves of Lake Michigan crash day in and day out, the Kenosha North Pier Lighthouse stands tall, overlooking the second largest Great Lake. Yeah, the lighthouse is, in my opinion, easily the most iconic landmark that we have here in the city. It's the first thing as a photographer you're going to want to come take a picture of. Born and raised here, Mike Middleton would spend hours fishing in these waters as a child. Years later, it's become one of the many places where he points his camera. Now coming down here as somebody who's gotten into photography and grown an appreciation for the lakefront and the lighthouse, it's been kind of reawakened my interest in some of the natural beauty we have here in the, the community I grew up in. Middleton is one of the thousands of amateur photographers, a part of a local Facebook group called Capturing Kenosha. Well, this group gives us a reason to go out and find all that beauty and then share it with people in the community so they can have more of an appreciation for that. It was started by Kenosha resident Thomas Correo after he retired from the county sheriff's office. And we have like 6,000 members. So a lot of people tuning in to see what we're taking pictures of and a lot of people contributing now. So we're trying to grow the photo photographer community here in Kenosha. Pareo picked up his camera as a hobby after retiring. It's a way to focus on his mental health and have fun. So every morning I started going out to the lake. Obviously, we got this huge lake here. It's so nice out here. In the morning, you just get every array of colors out here. Um, it's never the same. There's always different clouds, different conditions. And I uh, focused mainly in Kenosha, and people started to follow my feed. The group was looking for a photography project when they realized it was already in their viewfinder. So they created a calendar with photos of the lighthouse. Every month is a picture of the lighthouse in a different position so it's not like all from the same angles weather conditions are totally different think about january and then think about the middle of summer how much different it's going to be so it they're all beautiful pictures the calendar will showcase its beauty while helping restore it correo says the woman who leases the lighthouse was diagnosed with cancer so they decided to help her the proceeds from what's made from the calendar sales go towards the philanthropic efforts, but it needs more of a facelift than just a coat of paint because there's like 50 or 60 layers of paint on that thing. This time around, it's the lighthouse that needs assistance. However, the group hopes to continue creating calendars with their photos to help other causes in the future. I don't see why not. You know, if, if this catches on like it seems like it is and we can raise money and awareness of the city that we all love, uh, we'd like to do this on an annual basis. You can order your copy at CapturingKenosha.com.